experience, huh? All right, joining me to talk about this, we'll welcome back Wendy Walsh, clinical psychologist. You can always check out more of her thoughts, momlogic.com. Back with us as well, attorney Jim Murray, chief correspondent for Inside Edition. Wendy, I'll start with you on this. What do you make of this? When she, is it delusional, wishful thinking, or do you glean that maybe they are an item and have a future together? What's your take? Well, you know, who can make a comment on how somebody feels loved or not? We all have mm. definitions of love and what it feels like. So in her experience, yeah. she feels loved by him. Now, how we're going to judge it at outsiders viewing is based on our lens of what love is. And love is, of course, exchanging mutual care. And how much mutual care they're exchanging, well, we don't really know. Yeah. What do you, what do you make of her, Wendy, as she's talking to Oprah well, in the brief clips we get there? Well, clearly she's a little bit in denial about, as you said, uh, being copious, having some responsibility for this. But we have to remember that she never stood at an altar and made a vow to Elizabeth Edwards, okay? The husband did, and he was the one who broke his vows. Mm -hmm. Now, not to say complicit, and there aren't an army of women out there who are not bearing, being card-carrying members of the girls' club and protecting all our husbands from themselves, but, um, but you know, she's only 50% of that model. For everyone to say she's the homewrecker, you know, the relationship probably was, or the marriage probably was in great danger before she ever came on the scene, but to say one woman lured and entrapped a husband is also not very correct, okay? It's 50-50 on this. Well, both John and Ariel Hunter, Hunter uh, d despicable behavior when you look at the backdrop of all this. The guy's trying to run for president, and he has Elizabeth Edwards as his uh, wife. Uh, guys, thanks, uh, Wendy.